The bedding section of Sears was quiet. The stillness filled the home goods area of the store. Packages containing blankets, duvets, and bed skirts lined the aisles. The softness of the contents on the shelves was echoed in the quietness of the store. The area was zombie-free, for the moment, with only a single dead employee splattered along the ground. The giant bin filled with pillows stirred. A pillow raised up as a set of eyes darted back and forth in the store. Two other pillows lifted as two more sets of eyes were visible. All three ducked back into the bin. Inside the container, they had built a fort of feather-filled pillows. I've always wanted to jump into the pillows, whispered Dion. I didn't think it'd be during the zombie apocalypse. All the fun stuff happens when zombies are around, says Cadence. Cadence, said Dion, we might need to talk about your crazy. Lauren swatted at a small white feather dancing across her face. She blew hard, pushing the feather across their cramped little fort. She wiggled her butt a little, sliding back into the pillows, making herself comfortable. Cadence, you write about zombies? I wouldn't say write as much as I might say pontificate. O-M-G, Dion said. Girl, just shut up. Yes, I write about the dead coming back to life and terrorizing the living. I wouldn't say write so much as copy real life, Dion said, pushing her nose up while she spoke. I can't believe they're real. I mean, they're running around right now, trying to eat me. They're everywhere. I still can't believe it. It's so far-fetched. Do you think vegan zombies eat people? Lauren stopped her rant and eyed Dion. Her face squished up as she pondered her own question. I mean, they kind of remember stuff. I don't know if they'd remember they are hippies trying to save the planet. Lauren shrugged. Maybe brains taste like tofu. Cadence and Dion stopped talking and stared at the barista. They covered their mouths as they began to laugh hysterically. Cadence couldn't get the image of Lauren contemplating the taste of brains out of her head. This would be one she would have to take to her grave. What about deaf zombies? Cadence wiped the tears from her eyes. Can they hear? I don't know. Her books aren't that good, said Dion. Bitch, replied Lauren. Zombies don't regenerate, so I say no, said Cadence. The queen has spoken. Dion clapped her hands quietly, waving them about over her head in mockery. Can they smell? Lauren's face continued to contort as she tried to come up with more questions. Cadence nodded. My theory is that's how they track people. Sound and sight are secondary. And what if you have really bad B.O.? asked Lauren. And what are they smelling? Brains? Sweat? Because, girl, I don't sweat. Dion raised her eyebrow at Cadence. Zombie physiology is my next degree. Are you really the best person to write about the oncoming apocalypse? Lauren nodded. I have to agree with the sister. Dion gave her a dark-skinned counterpart a fist bump. Right on. I hope they eat you both at the same time, Caden said, her eyes drawn into narrow slits. Oh, I got one, Dion said. So you kill a zombie by destroying its brain or spine, right? But if I cut off a hand, why does it stay alive? There's no brain in its hand. Does it stay alive until the brain of the owner dies? Asked Lauren. Cadence hid her face in her hands. I have no idea. They all got quiet until only the sound of their breathing filled their warm pillow fort. Nobody moved as they digested the situation, thinking about the unanswered questions. Lauren broke the silence. What about zombie sex? Saturday, 2 a.m. Did you hear that? Hank asked as the floor shook beneath his feet. Damn, Victor said. That felt like a hair salon exploding, Xander said to the other two. Now how in the hell would you know that, asked Hank. Victor waved his hands back and forth at Hank, dismissing his question. You don't want to know, man. Xander has a lot of free time on his hands. I'm starting to think the zombies are the sane ones, Hank mumbled to himself. So why are we still hiding in a Dunkin' Donuts, asked Victor, looking at Xander. Sears is right there. We're waiting for the zombies to clear out so we can make a run for it. Victor shifted his weight, crunching glass beneath his foot. They froze. Xander peered over the counter to see none of the zombies had changed direction. What the hell is that? Victor lifted his shoe to see broken glass everywhere. Looks like there was some sort of a struggle. Yeah, there's coffee beans everywhere, Hank said. Crazy chick? Xander shrugged. Do you think Dion would have let her live this long? Maybe a zombie needed his fix. 
That girl's a zombie as far as I'm concerned. 